Hello again, and welcome to another exciting week of statistics, where this week we're going to be moving into sections 5.3 and 5.4. We're in 5.3. We're going to take all of that stuff that we've learned so far in terms of being able to go from points to areas, that is, areas below, areas above, areas between in terms of the normal distribution, and flip it back to being able to get values corresponding to areas, that is, values corresponding to percentiles, or just z-scores corresponding to areas on standard normal, or values for percentages in terms of a general normal distribution. They're all the same sort of flavor of problem in terms of inverting the normal distribution function. We're going to see a couple ways of handling that. But the big one for this week is 5-4. 5-4 is when we're introducing something called the central limit theorem. And there are only a couple of results we'll see all semester that are as important as the central limit theorem for what we're going to be getting for the next month and a half. Because just about everything we use from chapter 6 on will in some way implicitly call upon the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem is a vitally important result and it kind of codifies why we might care about the normal distribution at all. Because a lot of things aren't normally distributed. But if we have the right properties, if you have the right setup, we're going to see a way that we can talk about them using that distribution anyway, which is a really strange and powerful result that we're only going to scratch the surface of. But it's still vitally important that we see it and that we get some sense of what it's saying and how we can work with it. And that's what we're going to be getting in 5.4. Where for this week, we have a worksheet for some more practice. There's kind of an interesting problem at the end of this week's worksheet, so pay close attention to that one. We also have some homework stuff. And by the way, be sure to get into the uh, feedback survey at some point. Let's do it at the end of this week. And then at the end of the week, we are back into our normally scheduled programming in terms of a pre-assessment. But no time like the present to get into our last two sections for Chapter 5, at least the ones that we're going to cover in here, starting with 5.3. I'll see you in there.